Hello guys, so today we'll be watching uh, what Diamond Elemental is going to do. Uh, here's his uh, normal skin, uh, here's his uh, 6 star skin, just shinier, not shining, shiny, so yeah, that's about it. Uh, let's have a look uh, at his skills. So he's uh, dealing damage, inflicting burn blind, uh, deletes shield, and decreases unit DR and crit hit damage, as well as yeah, dealing a lot of damage and AOE damage. Uh, next skill increases own DR, decreasing own attack speed, but hits uh, five times each time and uh, dealing a lot of damage and decreasing tenacity and block value more debuffs to the target and decreasing d defenses so two skills already that uh, really reduces the overall defenses survivability of the target um, next up he's immune to stun and an hp cap of 15 percent and uh, deals again damage and decreases unit dr again really nice and solid debuffs will surely help with the tank killing <coughs> fourth skill a bit of wall of text uh, again dr and defenses get decreased so really really <laughs> on the offensive buffs for like not offensive buffs but uh, debuffs to the enemy team and the target and so you can see here yeah a lot of lot of text and the fifth skill which is even more text elemental resonance uh, by casting own heroes, friendly hero spells, or hostile hero spells. Increases unit damage, defenses, attack speed, DR, and more for conflicts units. So, pretty nice unit. A lot of text. A lot of text is good, I guess. So, yeah, let's head right in. So, Having here a pretty uh, standard rampart plus uh, the cheapest URs, conflicts units, and uh, cotus and priest. So, yeah, first of all, let's uh, play this team out, which many people are playing, uh, not the krakens, the whales, uh, into the cov team, and let's see how uh, it was doing up until now. <clears throat> So to just to get an understanding of what the team was able to do previously, it was a top four team. Couldn't be Josephine uh, was dealing well with Alamar and as well as Psamathe. So yeah, I could say it was top two, t two, three teams. So yeah, but it loses to Psamathe in this case this particular team so now yeah let's add the diamond elemental into the place of codus because codus is a neutral unit and not part of the uh, not part of the alliance so not getting every buff <coughs> there are so many variations now with uh, so many SSR units and UR units from both factions. <clears throat> so yeah, nothing really changed here. And Diamond Elemental dealing two and a half percent.
so not cool at all maybe if we can build a kill lane like this maybe things can change a lot of damage it's more tankier the real liability in this team is actually sword dancer it doesn't live long enough to deal a lot of damage so yeah what can we change we can maybe put an oracle here um, oracle is in here instead of blade dancer Sword death. So let's have a look if the synergy is good enough. So, yeah, now we have something dying. Oracle about to be dead as well. So, now not cool. Oracle is not the answer. Did I have the domain on? Yeah. we protect the mantis it works a lot better all right let's move on to Alamar decent damage I like how just every unit is going low but not dying and priest died in the end but everyone else on full HP so quite a coincing win diamond elemental 11% fifth largest damage dealer oh, let's go split lines and place these chargers so they run into the back line with code is protecting them it's pretty nice so yeah all of the chargers are running up to the arranged but it's not enough 
So yeah, this went way, way easier than against some of the... And not dealing a whole lot of damage, but the uh, debuffs and the buffs and everything, yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, so yeah, we can put in uh, back the dancer, maybe. And see how that goes. And for those who didn't see, the next champion is going to be Moon Deer, the partner of Dancer. So if you're playing more rampart oriented setup, not with uh, the Conflux units, you might want to wait out and decide by then. But as we see that uh, with Dancer, it, it, it went terrible really terrible and let, let's run one head up lane maybe dancer doesn't die that quickly overall yeah she's just way too squishy and maybe moon deer will solve that problem can teleport her back if she's getting low. Yeah, now with the uh, Oracle, <laughs> with Oracle we were winning convincingly, and now we're just straight up dying. Uh, yeah, not cool at all. So let's get that Oracle back in here. Dancer, go away! You're just terrible. So, yeah, we faced up to the fourth and second best teams. Let's run against Josephine. And let's play the regular Tower Castle team, which everyone in the later servers have. Yep, killed Paladin once, and that's it. Not that cool. So maybe let's switch up these two. Maybe something will change. As the Paladin is usually squishier than the DJ. So the AoE from Oracle. Oh, yeah, Paladin took a big hit. Priest is dead. Paladin died once. About to die another time. Maybe? No? No. Yeah, but the Diamond Elemental is uh, quite tanky. Has his own immunity and stuff. So yeah, this was not enough. So let's play Ice Demon like this. Let's see how this will go. The Oracle is out, the Diamond Elemental partner, but we're having a fully maxed out commander with its banner.
which probably should be better, but let's see. Priest probably the first one to fall, if anything. Dragon Goal went really low. No one's dead. Half battle in. Priest died once, looks like. Man, well, what's the lag? Oh, Dragon Golem down. So yeah, with Ice Demon, it went all way better. We only lost Priest. Yeah, Diamond Elemental not doing a whole lot of damage, but the debuffs were quite significant. Let's switch up other, some other lane um, and go through the bottom. But still, it was uh, Dragon Golem who died first. Yes, so interesting. Light Elemental going really down, and Priest is dead. So last battle the Priest died in uh, like two minutes, and now he died less than a minute in. Yep, and we are going to lose, it looks like. Yep. So going through Paladin is obviously the best choice, uh, but let's play the Oracle instead of uh, or maybe let's yeah well all right uh, where's the D let's skip on Priest and let's go full on damage. And with only the rampart and the hero ability, Let's see how this will go out. All eight units from the uh, f uh, from the conflicts and rampart faction. Units getting really low, Kyrie protecting, uh, but Emerald Dragon died. Yep, dead, dead. All of the immunities from Josephine is just way stronger. Yeah, oh damn. <laughs> Elemental. So yeah, let's play with uh, Cotus maybe. So something like this.
and the lag is unbearable. Oh, we killed Paladin! Paladin down once. Looks like we are about to lose Emerald Dragon. Paladin died three times. But Emerald Dragon is dead as well. So, with Codas, yeah, we scored a win anyways. So cool, yeah. Switch up some units. Dragon Watcher is doing a lot of damage here. So yeah, this line setup was not good. <laughs> we can put in the oracle here instead of dark elemental but yeah probably not the most cost effective thing but maybe yeah you know some have already developed him So yeah, this is also winning. And let's switch out Codus. The Oracle not doing a lot of damage, but the Diamond Elemental damage went up. And let's play last battle. Can win versus Josephine, but needs uh, two banners at least for this formation to work. Yeah, well, on the right side, it also has two banners, so fair enough, but uh, yeah, the Judy banner is not usually the greatest one out there. But yeah, so needs either Priest or Codus. All of these units that deal a lot of damage, and it looks like Oracle over Dark Elemental is better. Yeah, Oracle does a lot of damage too. So yeah, basically what worked better is against Josephine, it seemed like this team. Uh, then the next uh, in line was uh, with Dark Elemental here, or no, I mean this team, or with Codus instead of Priest. And uh, then a downgrade uh, seemed like the, this team, as it didn't always win the Josephine. Uh, sometimes there were some hiccups, and uh, the version uh, instead of. Uh, Anything else from the conflicts, yeah, didn't work really out because the sensor didn't do a whole lot of damage and was really, really squishy. So, yeah, overall, uh, you maybe can't see big numbers, usually not if you have 
so much damage from other sources but it's a super great debuffer uh, really making the tank killing easier so yeah overall a solid unit and uh, can make Kyrie really compete with Josephine uh, all right thank you guys for watching and goodbye